okay, me from the future here, just, uh, editing this over the old clip because most of the stuff I say in that intro, uh, doesn't apply to this version of the video. That was all about the longer, unedited version, which is available on a playlist, uh, 18 videos, uh, if you want to watch that. But I'm making this edited version because I figure people don't want to just watch three hours of footage of me, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna leave in the part of the original intro where I talk about the stuff that I already knew before going into the movie. But, uh, just wanted to make this updated version of the intro for the shorter edited version, so there's still not going to be any picture-in-picture, picture because I was having trouble trying to get, like, the movie part recorded, and then even when I did get something recorded, like, trying to put it over the video I had, it just showed up in the middle, and I'm not great with technology, so sorry about that, no picture-in-picture, picture. uh, if anyone watching this knows how to do that and wants to give me tips, please do. Um, and also... Uh, the sound quality is better than I thought it would be, but not super great. You won't hear all of the dialogue, um, but you'll hear hopefully enough to be able to figure out what's going on in the scene. Um, yeah, so there's that. And, um, yeah, so this is my reaction to Lord of the Rings, A Fellowship of the Ring, and I hope you enjoy. I have read the first four pages of the Hobbit book, and I gave up four pages in. So, I really know little about the series. There are some things I do know. Um, I know that Sean Bean dies in the first movie. Sorry if that's like a really big plot point, but I know Sean Bean dies in basically everything. Um, what else? I know that the main character is named Frodo and people don't really like him, I think. Uh, they like the other guy, Sam, who I think is also a hobbit but I'm not sure of that. Um, I know that Frodo saves the day and then at the end, like, doesn't go home or whatever. I know it was, like, the ending of the whole thing. That was spoiled for me. I don't really know how significant that is. Also, like I said, people apparently don't like Frodo, so I don't know if that's something that matters hugely, but um, I did hear that in a podcast that I was listening to that was complete, on a completely unrelated topic. Um, they compared it to Jon Snow at the end of Game of Thrones. I don't know. Anyway, um, I also know there is a chick named Eowyn, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I don't know if that's right, um, or if that's even the name or if I got it wrong, but I know that she's, like, really cool and awesome. She says, like, I am no man, and then she kills a guy. I, uh, I don't know if I've seen the clip or if I've just heard people talk about the clip, um, but yeah, I mean, that's cool, love badass woman, um, I know there's not many female characters in this, but yeah, so I know that shows up somehow, I don't know who she kills, um, but yeah, what else do I know? Sean Bean dies, I said that, um, oh, there's a ring, it's like a horcrux, so it, like, has that I impact of a horcrux on you, and also, I think is also, like, sort of a horcrux for the big evil guy named Sauron. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. He's like a giant eye or something, but apparently he's not in the books or something. I don't know. Don't really know anything about that. Um, there's a line about potatoes. Oh, and there's Gandalf. I know about Gandalf, who dies and then comes back as like a... People compared it to Elsa in Frozen 2. Like a god, I don't, I don't know, but I know he dies and then comes back, and he has that line about how a wizard is never late or early. Um, oh, and there's Gollum, the creepy little dude who's like my precious. About, I think it's about the ring, and yeah, that's it. I don't really know many plot points or characters. I've seen character names, and I literally just look at them every time, and I'm like, that's a name. So that's. About that. I know there's like different races, like there's humans and elves and dwarves. I know the dwarves apparently were like a metaphor for the Jewish people because something always is. So thanks, Tolkien. Not a fan of that, but it is what it is. Um, orcs, I think. Hobbits, obviously, there's the hobbits. They're like small people. And yeah, uh, so uh, have not. Uh, oh, also, I did see the third Hobbit movie. The Battle of the Five Armies. Um, apparently people really didn't like the Hobbit movies, but anyway. Um, I don't remember basically anything from it. The only thing I remember is Kate from Lost. 
um, eventually Lily being in it, and apparently she's not even in the book, so I assume she's not at all relevant to the main Lord of the Rings movies, which I'm going to be watching, and I'm not going to be doing the Hobbit movies because people apparently don't like them, so it's just going to be the three Lord of the Rings movies, and yeah, that's about it for what I know. Okay, so I have the movie queued up, and I am pressing play now. Cool font. Like font. Rings plural. Nine. Nine Why give humans any? This is pretty good for 2001. The, the visual. Who's this narrator? Should have asked. Is it a character or is just narration? Because you'd read it in the book. Yeah, you gotta destroy that ring, buddy. And he didn't, yeah, of course. Oh, damn. Just Frodo? Oh. Gollum? Okay. Oh, another person. What was Tyrion going to say in the small night cast a large shadow? Oh, wait, no, that was Varys who said that. Whatever. Wait, a second title card? Sure. A wizard is a little late. Me. Still kind of a dick though, Gandalf. This is very pretty scenery, I'd like to live here. No admittance except on a party business. Sounds like a weird dude. I'd break everything in that house and hit my head multiple times. That is such a beautiful shot. Oh my god. Oh, it's Sam. A dragon? That's, that's really cool. Oh, that's, that's cool. Oh, these are ridiculous names. Wait, is he gonna die? No, he just turned himself invisible. And then left. Honestly, you know what, dude? All the power to you. But what the heck? He's being corrupted. By the ring. Oh my god. Seriously, where's it going though? Every shot is just so pretty. Next meeting, oh, she's gonna come back. Don't touch the jewelry. Yeah, chuck it into the fire. Probably won't. Probably won't work. He didn't even say goodbye to Frodo. He's got to stay with the elves. Yeah. He's left you again. Well, I'm Let's tell him what the ring is so he doesn't. What is with the old wise people never telling the hero anything? It's very frustrating. Dumbledore and Harry vibes. 
And then I know Harry Potter was inspired by Lord of the Rings. Of course he. I'm not saying I will kill as many horses in this game as I understand. Doggy! Horse. Weird horse. He can look at Oh, it's a golem. Awesome. So he has Dumbledore, basically. Don't have any answers. Get her. Take that step, buddy. Is that Gandalf? Is that something else for the heart? Oh. Okay. Never heard of this person. So he's evil? Oh, so he's evil. That's too bad. Is this where Gandalf dies? Uh, Oh my god. Oh. God. That's gonna be a far drop. What did he do? Did he drop him? I don't know where the cornfield now. Where's Fredo? Mr. Frodo? Oh god. So they like Fred and George. He's just... Oh my god. You're about to run off the cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what's a hairy foot? Whoa. That's cool. What is going on? They all look so similar, except for now. Ooh. Oh, spider. That's a large one. Oh, and a centipede? Oh my god. Oh. Glad I'm not eating a lot on this one. What you doing, Fred? I don't go to sleep now. Oh, don't put on the ring. Don't. Don't be a dumb. Dumb. Trying to avoid the ring. So. The one ring, dumb, dumb, dumb. That's what it was, Sam. Did they know what they are? Black Friday, if they heard of them? That the hobbits don't know like anything that they have to look. Oh. Poor horses. They're gonna get caught up in this. They always do. So which one is Pippin and which one is Mary? Maybe they'll specify later. How can you leave Frodo? He's literally the whole reason you're- That was a hell of a jump. Then you asked that I wasn't here to swear. Oh. Prancing Pony. I feel like I've heard of the Prancing Pony. Like, heard it roughly. This is where we're gonna meet some of the other characters. I know there's like others. Sean Bean hasn't even shown up yet. Why can they have hobbit sized rooms if hobbits never leave the shire? Is that a ferret? A whole half? Oh, cat! I love cats! Is that Sean Bean? Probably not. Oh no. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> no, don't put it on. Yeah, alright. No, that wasn't good. The fact that it just fell onto his finger is kind of absurd, but whatever, we'll let it slide. Oh! oh the poor gay guy! He didn't do anything wrong. Casually dead. Why are they asleep? Don't they have to be on the roof? On the roof? Like, come on, guys, pick up the pace. People are literally chasing you. <sighs> Who's the Skyer guy anyway? See a good guy, see a bad guy. Or is he just one of those I know for myself and only myself guys? Seriously, guys. 
How are you not awake? What? We have all them sat? I'm so confused. Corsi! Oh, there he is, staring brutally at the window. Wait. So, they stabbed Feather Fed? What? <laughs> what a mood. Honestly, I need second, third, fourth breakfast. Oh, that's Gandalf. Okay. So we didn't kill him. Why are they tipping the poor innocent tree? What did it do to hurt you? No, don't look down on the tree. Giving swords to untrained people. That's a bad idea. Oh, what the? Oh, there you are. Took your time, didn't you? Yeah, Frodo, if that happens every time you put on the ring, maybe stop doing it. Just a thought. Yeah, I definitely believe Frodo's about to die here. You need elvish medicine. Well, okay, good thing you're going to see the elves. Hammer swords. They're making swords. They're ripping up more trees. Stop ripping up the trees. Uh, is that gall? What is that mud creature? Oh, uh, well, that's really gross. That's so disgusting. I don't want to look at it. Ooh, a lady. About time. Okay, so she's like a literal angel. Gotcha. Arwen. That's that's what the subtitles said. Her name was Aragorn. The subtitle said he was called Aragorn. I've heard of that name. That was like a king. If that's a big reveal later, I'm sorry the subtitles ruined it. <laughs> but I gotta have them on or I'll have no idea what they're saying. Like, they talk too fast. Ooh, oh. Frodo does not look good. I mean, I know he's gonna live now because there's, there's three of these. So that water effect is really awesome. But oh my god, the horse is down too. Oh, poor horsey. Why does she care so much about Frodo? She just met him. Alright, like I get it would be sad that like some innocent guy's dying, but she seems very emotional over it. Gandalf! Wait, how did he escape though? How much the eagles? I've heard about the eagles. They're like convenient plot device. So you have chosen death. Alright, you're a dramatic dude, aren't you? Saruman. Oh, that's another very pretty shot in location where I would totally want to live. Rivendell. Sounds kind of like Riverdale. Wouldn't want to live there though. No, oh, this is slow music. I'm Fred and Sam walking. Are they trying to show us that they're a couple? Because. I'd be down. They're only picking a marriage accidentally themselves into being. Bilbo! Mirkwood. That's the thing in Stranger Things. Well, it. Sunbeam? Wait, the elves are leaving? Hide in the mountains seeking riches, and they're based on the Jews? Of course they are. Okay. Thanks, Tolkien. <laughs> Don't place your- Don't place your hope in humans. Why did you cut yourself with it? Yeah, of course it's still sharp. Oh, so they are like in love? Yeah, there's nothing believable about this chemistry, but whatever. <laughs> so they're in love. We're not gonna find out their backstory or what they care about in each other. Oh no. So Sean being a bad guy? The ring must be destroyed. What are we waiting for? Yeah, that was gonna work. <laughs> There's the meme. That'd be you, Frodo. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> oh my god. Don't get in the ring, Frodo. Good. Very good. Um. 
now? Fun, fun being people in a fight. He tripped and the ring fell out. But that is not the most convenient. Oh no, he's picking it up. No, 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 no. Put it, put it down, Sean Bean. Clearly, these people are not Starks of Winterfell because they're having a lot of trouble with the snow, including you, Ned. Oh god, Frodo shouldn't be deciding anything. Guy doesn't know anything. He's like Jon Snow. Should have listened to Sean Bean. Actually, well, no, if he's anything like Ned Stark, probably shouldn't have listened to Moria. Yeah. Yeah. We have to work toward all their wealth because Tolkien based them on the Jews. I'm still not for that, guys. It's messed up. That's pretty. That's a pretty door. Good. Let that horse go free. Don't bring it into danger. If the horse dies, I will riot. So, what's in the water? Doesn't need a blood payment like the cave in Harry Potter. Whoa. Oh my god. Why are they all dead? What happened? Well, that's unfortunate. What did I say? Don't listen to Frodo. What the? Okay, is this just like... This is like a giant squid thing. Is it a kraken? Hey! Good for you, Boromir. Why are there no women in that fellowship, huh? Don't touch things. What is wrong with people? Why do they always touch things? I wouldn't touch any of that. I think barricading yourself in never works. Like, you've got to find somewhere to go. Like, this is dumb. You're all gonna die like this. And of course, they're all gonna survive the sword fight because they have plot armor. Even though the hobbits aren't wearing armor. I know Frodo got that armor from Bilbo. The rest of them just aren't wearing armor, right? Like, that plot armor's strong. This is a losing battle. Realistically, they shouldn't win, but I bet they will. The plot armor is strong with this one. Like, I'd buy it if they found an escape, but if they actually kill all the enemies, I won't. That, that's, I'm gonna be like, no. Because all the dwarves couldn't stop it, but these nine people, four of whom are hobbits, are gonna manage it. I'm not trying to offend the hobbits, just none of them have ever fought before. Ever. It'd be like, if I was there. Useless. Did I just stab Frodo again? What is with this guy just getting stabbed again and again and again? Yeah, I definitely think Frodo's gonna die. die. So much concern here for the main character of this three movie series to die two thirds of the way into the first movie. I don't know why everyone doesn't like Frodo. He seems pretty likable. Like, you know, he's not super nuanced, neither is anyone else in this, but like, he's a brave, noble kind of guy. And the torch is gone. Nice going, with Sean Bean. Not as likable as Ned Stark, although to be fair, that's a high bar to clear. Oh god, I would be terrified going down those stairs. I, I don't mind heights necessarily, but like, going down from a high, oh, I could not. I. But that leap onto the other on the slanted thing, no. No, I couldn't. I would lose it trying to do that. I probably couldn't even make the jump, but I'd also be probably too afraid to try. And again, I guess if the alternative is death. Oh. Aww, Sean Bean's carrying them. Alright, he's a good dude. I mean, you know, he hasn't gotten much character development, but again, neither of any of them. A little disappointing. <laughs> Nobody talks to the door with everybody. Yeah, you can Yeah. Not the spear. Okay. We gotta die then. Okay. So, did Aragorn not make the jump? Oh, neither did Frodo. That's not good. This doesn't look good. They're not gonna- there's no way they make that jump. Oh, 
Yeah, oh, uh oh. What? Wait, what? Okay, they're gonna make the jump because of plot armor. Oh my god. Oh, is it gonna fall apart? Oh, that is clever. Oh. Clever. Making it fall for that. Yikes, I would be so afraid. Oh my god. That's the nerve wracking thing that's happened in the movie so far. So, this is what he does? This is what he does. No. Get on me, Barmer. Don't let, don't let Fredo run into the fire. Lupin and Harry, serious vibes. What? They can't fly. And he's dead. But he's gonna come back, so I'm not that concerned. Sorry, I know it's a sad moment, but the way he screams, no. Alright, give him a minute. Yeah. Where's Fredo? What's he doing? He's just walking up alone? Also, is Fredo supposed to be like a teenager? Because he looks like an actual teenager here. Like the actor, even. Like, I'm pretty sure he was older, but he looks like 14. Galadriel. I've heard of that. Her too. The ring bearer. Is this a wedding? Who's getting married? Sauron and all of Middle Earth. She's gonna get. Yep. <laughs> no, I to see a second female character this far into the movie. We're like real near the end of the movie here. Like. Not real near, but like, there's only 45 minutes left, and they're introducing a whole new, like, scenery and character. Like, I don't know, I feel like pacing could be a little bit, but I'll oh, first sort of comment on that till the end because I don't know how it goes. Maybe they're still in this location or maybe two. Alright, a little less dramatic. She's looking at him, but she's about to die. Shows many things. Okay, creepy lady. Things that were. <laughs> things that are. And some things. And how long you come to pop? So they're like Brand Stark. Good. What's this? This fire is burning. She's smiling. She wanted him to see this? Okay, then why make him see it? Then why make him look? She means Boromir. Boromir's gonna try to take the ring, that's what she meant. Because he wanted it before. No one who's great and powerful should have the ring. That's the point. It's all about the little guy. Oh, well, Boromir's happy. That's not a good sign. Frodo, you gotta stop wandering off, buddy. You're gonna get yourself killed when you're not because you have plot armor, but you don't know that. Um. No. Oh, wow. Come here. Hey. Oh. He's just got a little scared. Don't leave him, Frodo. He, he, he feels bad about it. If he dies because of you. Maybe that's why everyone doesn't like him. But the Frodo can't go alone to Mordor. He, he's, he's a hobbit. He's gonna die. Like, super duper die. Why is this hero always gonna be all, I'm going it alone? You never win going it alone. Dang. Fighting with an arrow in his shoulder. Respect. Not <laughs> being having to die on screen again. <laughs> Poor guy. He always does. Except in Percy Jackson maybe, but that movie's garbage, so. Wait, so Pippin and Mary are just being carried off by the orcs? Did he die for nothing? 
Where is Frodo? What does Frodo do while all this is going on? Huh? He just left all of his friends to die and ran off. What an asshole. He has the special sword. And still, he just ran off. Oh, we called him King. Yep, Frodo, you missed the battle. Everyone died because even though you had the magic sword, you decided to just hightail it out of there. Rude. Oh, there's Sam. <laughs> That's not what a lot means. So. Get in the water and save him, you dumbass! Also, going to Mother alone, terrible idea. You will die. But then you know that, don't you? This is a suicide quest, because honestly, friend, your friends can help you. Aww, friendship. It's giving him like a Viking funeral. Oh, nope, the, boat, the boat's going over a cliff. Is that how they do it in Gondor? This is all set up, like, they're gonna set off, and then that's all set up for that. Yeah, that's not very, uh, good single movie ending. Cinematography, some great shots. Okay, so I finished the movie. I was starting to feel like that was never gonna happen. No, I'm kidding, but it was it was a long movie. I think that is the longest movie I've ever seen. I, I don't believe any of the Harry Potters were that long. I could be wrong. Cause I know some of them were like more than three hours, but that was with commercials in the middle. Anyway, um, so yeah, I saw the movie. Um, just wanted to give some brief thoughts. Um, cinematography was beautiful. Love those shots. Really makes me want to visit New Zealand. You know. Maybe after quarantine is over. Um, yeah, um, the story was, I mean, I felt like there were points where, you know, maybe it could have been compressed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, good stuff. Um, setting up the next movie. I mean, it's hard to make a comment on the story when I've only seen a third of the story. Um, one thing that uh, I do wish was that we'd had more, like, character development or just time with the characters because I feel like a lot of them were kind of one note like um the dwarf Gimli uh and Legolas like th they were there and I feel like we didn't really get much with them even like Aragorn and Boromir who got like some more development like I don't know I feel like like Boromir obviously had, I think had the most like of an arc in the movie I mean, obviously, because he, he died, and the rest of them still have two more movies to develop. So, um, I wish it had, like, a little more character-focused scenes, and less, like, exposition dumping and fighting. I mean, not less of that, just more characters. The thing I really wish we'd had was, like, more time with the Fellowship, just sort of hanging out, and, like, talking and becoming friends, because it felt like the scenes where people died would have had a bit more impact if... We'd just seen them caring about each other in the first place. Like, it kind of felt like they were just people who'd been thrown together on a mission rather than, like, friends, even by the end of the movie, which, you know, was unfortunate. Um, I assume they were traveling for a while, but it really felt like they'd only been traveling for, like, a week. Maybe two weeks. Really, like, a week. So, I assume the books probably fleshed that out more, but yeah, I feel like could have had more of that but overall you know it was it was good um interesting uh I probably couldn't tell you who my favorite character was um or anything like that's stuff that I think on that but yeah I mean uh so I am gonna watch the next one uh if I'd really hated it I probably wouldn't that makes it sound like I didn't like it it's not that I didn't I, that's not what I meant if I didn't like it I wouldn't watch the next one it was decent. I wouldn't say it's the best thing that I've ever watched in my life, but, you know, I enjoyed lots of it. Um, some of the stuff that I was saying during it felt a little deus ex machina, but, you know, maybe I'll explain more in the other show. Like, I think it's really hard to judge a movie that's just the first third of a larger franchise, so, um, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you, uh, want to see the next two movies and you know subscribe and then also any other content that i post um like 
the video if you liked it. Um, you know, comment your reactions, your thoughts, whatever. Um, yeah, thanks, and uh, bye.